Let's understand Boolean operations on selection mask. To begin with, this yellow circle is contained within this first layer and these colored circles are contained within this second layer. Now let's select the first layer. Upon selection, the yellow circle becomes highlighted. Let me adjust the appearance of selection mask. For this, we will go to selection menu, scroll down and I will increase the opacity. And I will also change the color to something lighter. Okay, this is done to enhance visibility. With the first layer selected, let's proceed to second layer. Upon selecting it, the Boolean Options submenu appears, offering various modes for combining selection. Let's examine each mode individually. The first mode is Select. When you click on it, it replaces the old selection with a new one. Initially, the yellow circle was selected, but now these colored circle become the new selection. Let me deactivate the selection mask so that we can properly understand the other mode. Again, I'm selecting the first layer. When it is selected, I'm going to the other layer and then I will select it again. Again, Boolean Options submenu appears. Next, we have Add Mode. When you click on it, it combines the old selection and new selection. By activating this mode, all circles are selected now. Deactivate selection. Go to first layer and again select it and after it, select the other layer. Now we have the subtract mode. When you activate this mode, it removes the areas of current layer from the old selection. It means it removes the areas of current layer that are enclosed within old selection. Deactivate the selection and repeat the process. Select first layer and after it, select the second layer. Next we have reverse subtract. It subtracts the old selection from the areas of current layer. This mode essentially reverses the effect of subtract mode. Deselect a layer and then again select first layer and then after it select the other layer. Next we have intersect mode. When you activate this mode, it finds the common areas between old selection and new selection. Deactivate selection, again select first layer and after it select the other layer. Next we have Difference Mode. When you activate this mode, you can see no shared areas are selected. It means it finds the uncommon areas or the areas that are not shared between old and new selection. Let's add shadows to this mushroom tab. For this, I'll create a new layer and change its blending mode to Multiply for adding shadows. Since I prefer to keep my layer count minimal, so I would go to Mushrooms cap layer and I'm going to select it. Here you can see that white part is also selected, which is unwanted. So I would also select the white part layer and then I would subtract the selection. I also don't want this white pattern on this cap, so I would go to that layer and I would subtract the selection for this part as well. Now I would go to Multiply layer and add shadows to this layer. Now I would add shades to these white parts of mushroom. So for this, I'm going to select these white parts of mushroom. And then after it, the body of mushroom. And I will add the selection. Now both layers are selected. Now I would add shades to multiply layer. Next, I'm going to add shadows of this white pattern. So for this, I'm going to go to Mushroom's cap layer. And when you select it, you have to reverse subtract the selection. And here you can see only the red part of Mushroom's cap is selected. Now you can go to Multiply layer and add shadows according to your own. As you can see, I have successfully added shades to various parts of Mushroom using just a single layer. This technique showcases the power of leveraging selection mass to minimize layer count while maximizing visual impact.